Hello, hello, how are you? I'm gonna prime my project first. I'm gonna prime those little, little, little pieces of actually chipboard or cardboard. <laughs> so I'm gonna prime that with some white gesso. I would love to show you that you can have your texture paste, your beautiful texture, and you can actually color it in so many ways with so many different art supplies and I would love to show you the difference between sprays, how I would use sprays, how I would use maybe gelatos, how I would use crayons, how I would use watercolors and I was thinking this could be interesting, how to color your textures, how to color your textures. So I'm gonna prime those because it will be just, uh, it will show better the color, it works better when you prime your project, your surface, so that's what I'm doing with all of them and let let me get back to you once everything is primed. I primed everything with white gesso, everything is pretty much dry I would say. Time to use some texture paste or heavy white gesso if you have and stenciling of course. I'm gonna start off, well it doesn't matter where do I start, <laughs> I will get some of my paste. I'm using heavy white gesso because my gesso is very heavy and it's gorgeous. I love using it as my texture paste. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do with this. This one is very intrigued, very delicate uh, stencil, so you have to be very mindful, very careful about it because it's easy to destroy it while cleaning, washing. So I suggest you to wash it in the sink rather than with the baby wipe because it's very delicate, I think. So, okay. Mmm, love it. Now, let me just <laughs> put it somewhere before I'm going to grab and go and wash it all because we're going to go and do it one by one quickly rather than, no, everything together rather than one by one. Okay, next one please, let's say this one. Can you believe it? I haven't used this stencil yet ever except trials, but this is my own stencil that I hand draw, which I loved so much, so I hope you do too. You do because you are keep on uh, buying this design. I'm glad to see them being used and loved. Okay. Oh wow, it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, okay. Let's put it this on the side. Next one. Next stop. <laughs> Okay, what other design we're gonna use? This one. That's another your must-have favorite. My mine too, actually. <laughs> um, I think like this we're gonna go for. Oh, I just moved it, which is bad. Okay, I'll try. Sure. Yeah, try to keep your stencil in one place, so your texture is not gonna be. Oh, it worked. It's not going to be moved. Okay, maybe this one, I'm going to use my favorite stencil, which is Depth. It's called Depth. Absolutely love this stencil so, 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 so much. For its look, for its usage, for its idea, for everything. And you do too. <laughs> this is your favorite of them all for sure, from the whole collection. So thank you so much for appreciating it as much as I did, because when I made it, I was like, oh, I love it, will others love it too? And I'm glad you did. So thank you so much for that. Okay. And of course, all the stencils are in the shop, as you can guess it. <laughs> Not difficult to guess. And we ship worldwide, marimismallart.com. Feel free to have a look, of course. Hmm. I think I need a little bit more. And this is also well. They you all you love them all, but definitely well. I picked uh, probably the most often loved as well for this <laughs> video. But this is also I see it a lot being used in the pro on the projects. To be honest, a lot, a lot, a lot. Two more left. Two more left. Mm hmm. So let's go for this one. I love that. We need more paste for sure. 
you can color your projects with anything and everything but I think I would love to show you how I would use certain products to color because I wouldn't be using them exactly the same way each and every and uh, each and all of them so yeah I think it'd be nice to see it maybe how I would see it how I would use it and a really nice comparison I hope there we go oh there is some hair my hair for definite <laughs> uh. okay something like this and now once I have them all covered with texture I'm gonna run to my sink and wash off wash off all the paste wow from my stencils hello hello I'm back to you a few days later everything is pretty and dry and I also collected things because I was thinking yes use the color show them the color but how can to put it together as the like a set so I thought butterflies of course so I have um, different kind of mediums products to use I have stabilo which are crayons I have acrylic paints I have um, alcohol inks which I'm really not too sure if this is work, gonna work I have Vicky Button art crayons which they kind of like uh, oil pastels then we have um, sprays we have some watercolors here blue and I have also Dina weekly um, scribble sticks for purple Anything else I should actually grab different type of medium. What else uh, could we use? It seems that we have most of it anyway. So what I love to color the most would be watercolors, then sprays or vice versa. But let's just see. Let's just try. Um, I'm going to start off with exactly with what I like, which is blue butterflies, let's say. And I'm going to start off with those blue. Where? Where do I begin? Maybe this one. It doesn't matter really but let's do that let's try this and I'm gonna get some water to spray it on top of my blue and black and gray oh, okay now it was a lot of pigment and wetness going on here so things went a little bit like this <laughs> okay let's begin that <laughs> Uh, we may need a little bit of tissue. Oh, I have it because things will be dripping, dripping, dripping. Usually they do. So I got something on my phone. Could that be my? Oh no, it's two o'clock. It turned off. That's why. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna s get some water uh, a little bit on top of my can. Um, yeah, let's call it mini canvas. And since it's meant to be blue for our blue butterfly, I'm gonna start off by delicate. Now I do need water, clearly, <laughs> clearly, clearly. This works, but this isn't. So I can actually get my water from this bottle. Okay, from my water coloring experience. Okay, dum da da dum. So I need a little bit of that happening there. Mm -hmm. There we go. So this is how I do. I like to start my coloring from the most delicate color, from the brightest kind of tones going downwards to the more and then following with the darker one I'm wetting everything yet again I'm gonna add it maybe even a little bit more Dum -da -da -dum. so we will see what mediums is the best the easiest to use what looks the best in our eyes mm -hmm. now I'm gonna move on to the darker color now, see I'm using quite a generous amount of water and pigment together because I really wish to make sure that it will be nice and 
are lovely nice and moving so I'm dipping in the water in the color in the water in the color that kind of way you know of course this way of coloring I call it slow painting I remember when I discovered this way of painting with the Lindy sprays I was a brand ambassador for them that time and I was loving the, the, the dripping going around the texture I just and I still do it after so many years um, but I oops but I do uh, love the most my art journaling projects to have this kind of coloring happening so I guess it's my signature coloring you if you're watching my projects you would easily recognize my work many of you is able to recognize so I love it I truly truly love 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 it now okay a little bit even more upwards then we have this darker color here mm -hmm. Darker blue, even darker, even darker. We can add maybe a little bit of this greenish thing just to have it like. Hmm? I'm gonna spray that a little bit more. I just got a brush in my mouth, sorry. So, something like that. Then I'm just gonna see my butterfly. Yeah. It's going to be lovely and perfect when it's finished. <laughs> okay, so we need some black. I love finishing with black. Many of you is afraid of black and I don't blame you. It's not easy color to work with, but it's very rewarding once you get a grip about it and once you understand the value of the black, I guess, in a way. So, you know, nothing to be stressed about it, guys delicate I like that very much oh, that movement slightly just so we have some kind of grayish area as well I love that love 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 that or oh, maybe like this a little bit so with the texture you can you know try to do different things and make the blending and just see how the color will lead you okay I'm gonna leave it for now we'll see after drying loads things look different and that's normal like so I'm gonna leave this to dry here on the side it looks very pretty I have to say and I'm gonna put away my watercolors for now anyway for now 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 and my blue butterflies here now next one I'm gonna use uh, doesn't matter whatever let's suit this one and I'm gonna use my orangey I have only sprays and I'm gonna grab my black one as well okay back to you so I'm gonna have some water going on here as well and I don't know what colors we're gonna go for but I'm gonna see oh that's lovely and orangey and delicate so I'm just tapping onto my texture Quite a lot of pigment comes out from Lindy sprays actually, which is good, which is great. And I love how the pigment goes. So you see it's a little bit different maybe technique to the watercolor one. Similar though, similar though, isn't it? But let's say it's a little different. So I'm gonna just get it now down a little bit, hoping that some magic will appear. Lovely. Now I'm gonna shake this. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh nice, a lovely, what's that color? Pastel coral, yeah, but a very small amount of pigment goes, maybe it's because of the, um, the thing, so maybe if I use my brush, I'm able to get more, see, I, I probably shouldn't be, oh, oh now I mix this down there, it looks so much better now. Oh, I love that color. Wow. Okay, that's a little different the way as I usually color, but that's okay. Let's just let's just go on with it. That's how you go with the sprays anyway. And just get on with it, guys. Relax. You'll be fine. <laughs> 
and when you open the sprays important thing is hold them usually don't leave them what I'm doing right now because you will end up with spilling them um, and usually it's the worst color you want which is black for example all over your desk like so be very mindful about <laughs> this okay so I'm just adding touches of water to ask for some movement again and that's very lovely I love that I'm gonna leave it as it is I'm not too sure if the color is oh nice I'm not too sure if the color matches our it does the orangey one it does which is enough because the yellow we're gonna have from the um, from the inks I wonder how it's that gonna be now we're gonna add teensy 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 touches of black well gray really but um no I love that okay no let me just move that slowly I hope you can see and feel what I feel I'm gonna just add a little bit more okay okay now as I said after drying after everything especially on the gessoed boards are a little bit less intense usually that's how it is but that's okay you know that's okay now I'm gonna leave this to dry to see how pretty it's gonna be afterwards so I'm gonna put it on the side okay uh, next one so sprays on the side we don't need them next one what is the next okay and we have the orangey gun let's do the I'm just thinking for the white one this is gonna be very tough maybe this one actually oh, no this won't be cute for inks let's try the yellow inks um, I don't know if I should wet water it or what <gasps> oh I think it's gonna be lovely <laughs> except it doesn't want to go down it oh it does it does go down actually wow it does go down if you press a little bit more of the ink and that's perfect wow okay let's see the brown one since it's there I think it's brown yes gorgeous so that's that goes even more faster because of the yellow I guess wow that's very pretty if I have the black one do I have the black one mm, I do slate which is gray I do have slate sure why not yeah it's like black Wow will that be my new favorite coloring technique with the alcohol inks and texture is that even possible okay I'm gonna get some yellow more yellow going this direction surely why not because it doesn't go too far it dries in between so quickly <laughs> that I have no time to even move it what would happen if I add water oh oh it does kind of changes here and there but not so much okay I love that very interesting let's see our yeah it's gonna be gorgeous so I can tell I can sense it well because of the water now we get some very strange coloring mix but that's lovely and let's add that slate to the mix of course and it acts as well very strangely on the color on the gessoed board but super let's leave that I love it I love it love it love it love it thank you very much my project <laughs> okay I'm gonna move this on the side here da -da -da -da. yellow is gone perfect now next one let's do the gray one one after another and action <laughs> no I didn't want to say that and what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna spray this gently and I'm gonna go over with this crayon here and there on the side 
and hoping that it's going to be workable. It is. It's different type of work with it. I'm going to add more water because they will react nicely with water. It is different type of coloring, different technique. As you can see, as you can tell, color wise doesn't match my butterflies, but that's okay. Anything will work with the white, I guess. But I think it looks really, really nice, you know, this type of coloring. When everything is wet ish here, like it does work nicely. And wow, okay, let's add the darker one now. How is that? <sighs> Whoa. Look at that pigment. <laughs> it's way too much now. Didn't think it's that pigmented, but that's okay. Okay, and let's just... <sighs> wow! I'm tempted to just leave it as it is because it's beautiful, you know? Yes, and what about the butterfly? Yeah, it will match, but I think I will add more dark and I tell you why. The butterfly is white, so to have it more visible we need this to be even more going into grooves and all in a few more spaces just a little bit more maybe even this a little bit more mm-hmm oops okay wow I'm hugely impressed with that you know so you can really color with anything you have okay that will do so let's move on Hmm, I wonder if you were thinking what medium will color the best. Interesting to know, isn't it? <laughs> and what a surprise, the, the alcohol inks. Wow! So, oops, okay, that's, that's okay, I'm going to wash it later. What else is here? Oh, we have the scribbles, which are from... This one is from Dina, so I'm going to get that maybe here, surely, why not? I think we're going to have to do exactly the same thing as we've done with our Vicky uh, oil pastels. Maybe the yellow. I'll start a little bit with the yellow. Hmm. Okay, this is extremely pink like. <laughs> with the yellow, did I say yellow? I wanted to say pink, not yellow. Marta, where's your head like? Oh, look, so a little touch of that, and voila, look, it's happening, so that's plenty. Then I'm going to add the darker one, purple, darker purple. By the way, did I mention that all the stencils are coming from my recent collection of stencils? Yay, I'm very proud of them, I have to say. Okay, now we're talking, but I think it would be awesome to have some black, but sure, we don't have black in this set, I think. No, we don't. Hmm, but maybe this would be fair. No, 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 gray. Maybe gray, actually, instead of that blue. You know, maybe gray sounds more accurate than that actually blue thing happening there. I think so. Let me just put this on the side. Oh, 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 that's okay. I like that. So it's possible to color it with it. It surely is possible. It depends what kind of technique you prefer and all, but it is definitely there. Like, it's possible to use it with your texture, coloring your texture. That way, this way, that way, this way. Wow, I like that. Just a little bit more, and I think we can leave this to dry and finish off. Finish off as it is. Oh, maybe here, it's pink. Just a little bit. So maybe a little bit of gray in this direction. Okay, let's leave that. Let's leave that, not break it, because it's. It's gorgeous as it is. Let's leave it. Okay. So we have two more left. <laughs> two more left. I've just looked. If I were recording, that would be not so happy <laughs> if I didn't record. Oh, 
know which color, which color are we gonna be using here. Now, let's do the, the Stabilo, why not? The green, pretty, pretty green color. And we have those green butterflies as well. So I'm gonna start off, similar thing, but by, by adding some water into the mix, into our tiny canvases. Hmm, this seems to be the most difficult one, I think, actually. But manageable, guys, not that, not that not. It is actually happening. Mm-hmm. We just have to help it. There we go. So it's like we're creating this textury pigment, very pigmented amount, and then when we will add some Oh yeah, that pigment is kind of, it's like on the grater, so when we add some water it will nicely flow down. There we go. And the great gradient, wow! <laughs> wow, like, okay. Black, of course. I wouldn't be myself if I wouldn't add black, as you can imagine. Okay. Too small amount of water for. Oops. It's like a snake color with this uh, stencil. Wow! It's happening, guys. You don't need all the mediums to actually be able to color this way or that way or. You know? Wow! I'm pretty speechless. I love it. Very interesting te texture happened here. Oh, oops, I sprayed on this. That's okay. <laughs> I leave this now because it's gorgeous and the butterfly goes there. It will be nice. Okay, we have last, last, last. Now we have the last, which is... Oh, I should... Oh yeah, no, it's good. Which is this. Hmm... I think this is the most challenging because the flow is not there because this is acrylic so hmm but let's not lose hopes let's not lose hopes um wow no okay acrylic directly from the tube mm, oh well look it is happening actually guys look it is happening. You just have to kind of probably maybe add less pigment and mm, it is happening. Okay. It is happening. Let's see this. It's oops, it's black, is it? It is black, like real black black. Okay. So maybe I just need some of that pigment. It doesn't have the oops, the flow that I wish it to have. You know, but maybe I have to wait and give it a look, give it a chance. Look, it is happening. The stencil is amazing though. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it as it is now because it is beautiful just like that. Imperfect. The mix of color is gorgeous, so <gasps> oh that stencil is madness like it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stencil. My favorite stencil. I should use it more often, you know. I feel... Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe we have the winner, actually, by accident. <laughs> okay. Wow. I love it. But I really wish the um, pink pigment go a little bit further down. Like here. Just a little. So... What if I'll add teensy, teensy, teensy here, like teensy, like really small, 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 small. Oh, those bottles. Okay. That's it. I'm not doing, I'm done. I'm not doing anything more. Um, now let's try that all. <laughs> hello, hello, I'm back to you. Everything is mm, pretty much dry. 
I think it would be lovely to add some stamping just a little bit in places just to make it a little bit more interesting to the eye isn't it so we can just nearly finish off this as a project I believe like mini mini canvases let's call them <laughs> sure they are like canvases isn't it and the stamp text will help us with it now mm -hmm. as you can see I'm not using block or anything I'm only pressing really in the middle middle <laughs> in the middle okay gorgeous so gorgeous so hello hello how are you mm -hmm. okay I don't want to overdo it which I'm already doing but that's okay 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 let's go let's do that now you can stretch in them all there's so much water going on and so much mediums all together that they all kind of <laughs> went opposite direction that's okay oh this is still wet actually I didn't properly dry it this too they most are on top they are dry but not then this will dry tomorrow that's okay tomorrow is fine now um time to add our 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 two seconds I need to clean this uh, time to add some some butterflies, but also I was thinking to add maybe some titles which are which are here. Okay, so I have some stickers and maybe stickers about. Actually, I don't know. I'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's start with maybe this one. Hmm. Actually, which is which? <laughs> Uh, this is yellow and orange is this one more than this is pink okay this or this or this I feel for this one so I'm gonna attach these are stickers so I don't need any glue gun but I'm not too sure that this will hold properly but let's see oh it will lovely and now we have the sticker sentences but oh I'm thinking this one this one exactly this one paint away paint away we need some white splashes in a minute maybe then we have this one this or this or this oh this oh I like hmm this delicate one, why not? Wow. Maybe here, actually. Not so typical. Artology. <laughs> because we are doing a little bit of artology, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Go in here. Why not? Super cute. Okay, so white one. Probably, probably the middle one. Still, I like that. Maybe in the middle. Maybe in the middle. And stay creative. Love that. There we go. Then this one is purple, but it didn't really. Mm, it's not that really purple purple that's okay that's okay maybe here on top a little bit and hmm think different respect your space I love them all it's for me every single one of those uh, sentences would just would just work you know I just love them so much. No, actually here. But space matches so well this <laughs> chipboard, this stencil. Green one. Okay. Hello. This or... Nah, yeah, definitely this one. Definitely this one. <laughs> here, I think. Here I am. Here I am. 
How do you do? Craft daily. Okay. I love it. Blue one. Which and those stickers, by the way, are from my. Some of them are from my friend, and some of them are from. I bought them in like. Did I say that already today? I'm, I'm not too sure. Uh, like pound lounge, pound lounge shops, you know? <clears throat> Find your inner artist. There we go. So, yeah. And it, uh, everyone has some butterflies, I guess. Whoa! The contrasting would be this one. The yellow one here. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> silent moment. I nearly do have a silent moment for how lovely this came up came out. Okay, well come on. I wonder which mediums did you enjoy the most or which one you using the most. You know, that would be interesting to find out about that. Or maybe I encourage you to believe in using all kinds of mediums, not only the ones that you know, but actually try and experiment, I guess. Okay, let's just put this aside now. Ah, oh, they're so cute, they're so cute. We need to do some white splashes, I think. Just a little bit, at least. I think. I definitely. <laughs> okay. dum da dum dum da dum dum da dum 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 Okay, let's do that, but before, I know what I'm going to do, I don't want to have my splashes everywhere on my desk because it's very hard to wash off the Tipex, you know, the correction fluid thing. Hello there, hello there. I still love butterflies, I always did <laughs> in my artworks and still am. Oh, come on. I think my correction fluid is finishing or something. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. That's enough, yeah? I think so. Okay. So this is going. See how much of, of things is going on top of that. So crazy. Oops. So crazy. So crazy. We are recording! Yay! Oops! What a splash that was! I think my most favorite is this one. Maybe because of the stencil and the color. So it will be very hard to decide whether I prefer it because of the coloring technique or because of the <laughs> actual stencil, you know? So I think this one is my yeah most favorite. Let me just get some tissue and wipe that off from my butterfly because he doesn't want to have white spot on him, <laughs> I believe. Not that big anyway. Small spot maybe. Okay. Wow! How about black splashes? I think so. So let's get the, my watercolors. <laughs> there we go. And brush. There we go. Just touches of black here and there. Here and there. Wow. Now we need some. I'm going to move this so you will see it too. So, I love them. Okay, wow, we. Okay, let's wash that and let's put them away aside and all. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so here they are, our seven little canvases, let's call them. I really hope it was informative and helpful to understand, to see the difference, the ideas, the ways of how to do things. And I really hope that I kind of answered to your worries, maybe wonders, uh, and I checked things that maybe you not necessarily wanted to check yourself. My most favorite is, I have three most favorite, this one, actually this one as well and this one those three are my most favorite is it due to the stencil is it due to the color is it due to the how actually um the coloring went by itself because it's very like every single coloring is different you're not you're not able to repeat it you're not able to get the same effect so um this is the least favorite i lost my white but only due to the butterfly i should have <laughs> used different color butterfly i'm not too sure i had one so i wanted each of them be different um maybe this is uh, as well this butterfly could be different colors so it wouldn't be that you know, um, it, you can't see it because of the black. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I will move it here. Haha. <laughs> there we go. And voila. Problem solved. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed that, I liked that, I really wanted to bring something new and fresh and I hope I did, so if I did, <laughs> of course, let me know what you think in the comment section down below and feel free to share this video on your social media, on your Facebook, Instagram, on Twitter, whatever, whatever, whenever, Pinterest, um, yeah, it'd be lovely if you would share it. By the way, I usually never nearly mention it but most of it, most of you know, we do have a Facebook group uh, called Maremi's Creative Cafe. Feel free to join, uh, jump in with your request, answer a few questions, where did you hear about the group and you'll be um, invited and added to the group. So yes, um, you can share your art there. I'm actually confused with this, I have to change it. You can share, oh no, you can share your art there. You can share uh, your inspirations, you can get inspirations from your other friends, you can make friends, like, it is nice to be part of the group and if you've never been, I invite you to do so. I don't really actually say it in every single video because I forget, I keep on forgetting, oh that's better, I keep on forgetting simply as that, but the group is there and believe it or not we are nearly having 20,000 members so it's pretty busy, pretty crazy group. We have a weekly challenge that of course I'm always late for, <laughs> forgive me, please forgive me. Okay, enough of chats. Let's share this video on all of the social media possible. Uh, I would love to, I would love this video to be shared so others can, can you know, get some inspiration from it, information from it, since it is fun video, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. As always, a pleasure to be in your home and bringing you something fun and inspirational. I truly enjoy that, I really am and every single time I have to say goodbye in the video I do feel sad already and my head is in front of me thinking what's next, what's next, what to record next but you know without you watching, commenting and supporting and sharing and loving it nothing would matter at all okay thank you so much I really have to go bye bye bye